Welcome to Cook Me Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the DuckDuckGo Instant Answer API for autofill. This is an extension of my video on the DuckDuckGo Instant Answer API so that you can use it for autofill. So, you're going to want to have the code from the last video. You might want to watch it. Click on the card up there. And once you've got that, pop up in your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML with that code in it. I'm using the Triad Editor from W3Schools, so I'll put a link to that in the description. And I'll put a link to the code in the description too. Awesome, so now we just got to change a few things, and it's really easy. So first, we want to delete this div called answer, because we don't need it. This is what displays the instant answer, and we're not going to be displaying any instant answers. And delete that slash input, because um, I didn't realize it, but you're not actually supposed to Put and you're not supposed to close input tags. Yeah, I didn't know that. So now, just delete this because we don't need a no results found thing either. And delete this because this is what displays the answers too. And now, up here at the top, we need to add a data list. Data list. And we need to give it an ID so that we can link it to this input. So I'm going to give it the ID of id equals autofill. That's a nice id. And then we'll add an option. And normally these will have a value so that you can set the values of the autofill. But since JavaScript is going to be doing that, don't give it a value. id equals in quotes answer. That's what I'm going to call mine. You can call it whatever you want. And then close that data list. And you don't close option tags, just so you know. They're like input tags. And link the data list with the input with the list attribute. List equals, and then the list ID. So mine was autofill, and quotes. And now, all we got to do is add inside this else right here. Um, document dot get element by ID in parentheses and in quotes whatever the idea of your option was so mine is answer answer and parentheses and quotes dot value equals sorry I normally do dot inner HTML but now nah, dot value equals B dot heading with a capital H because that's the title of the instant answer so we're going to be using that. And that's it. Run the code and let's give it a shot. W3 schools. It works. So yeah, hopefully you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Kid Z at the bottom right corner down here. Go to my website at cuckmancurve.gq, and yeah, remember, if anyone ever asks you, Minecraft was written in JavaScript, right? Say yes. Say yes. No matter what you really think, say yes. No pressure.